<laughs> nah, son. What are we doing today? <laughs> oh, God. Should I wash this off? No. I've come this far. I've come this far. back and it's not going so well. Let's try out some new products, first of which is going to be this Patrick Top Major Skin Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. I have two of them. First, I have the shade Deep 2 and I have Deep 3. Deep 2 is a neutral shade. Deep 3 is golden warm. The darkest shade that Patrick Ta has is Deep 4, which is cool red. I don't like red shades, so I avoided that one. And looking at the two of these, I feel right now at least, Deep 2 might match my skin perfectly. Deep 3 might give me the deepness that I want. I think that Deep 2 will look really pretty. Now, you know, with cream products like this in a compact, I like to use my sponge, but normally I will use a brush. You know this already, but let's do the sponge. Let's do this flat side, linking all products below as well. Make sure you follow on all socials. That's important too. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Hold on a minute. We need to prime the face. Hi. I'm going to prime with Glowish by Huda Beauty Blur Jam. Now this is interesting because it looks strange. It looks like jam. <laughs> Literally like jam. <laughs> I've done my skincare. Obviously I was using these eye patches. We'll link these below also by Patchology. All right. So I'm going to take this Blur Jam. It says on the box, it's supposed to instantly matter and smooth texture giving a soft blur effect. So press and smooth a pea sized amount across the face in short strokes to blur and mattify. This jam is definitely unique, kind of bouncy in a way. Okay, let's do the nose and see. Press and sweep. Yeah, that is working. Let's do the, we're focusing on the T-zone. Is it gonna dry though? Or is it gonna just sit there? Freshly microbladed brows, by the way. I always try to be careful with these primers since sometimes they don't interact well with my skincare. So I'm doing the press and smooth. I wish it would dry and suck my face dry, but it is more so just sitting there. Now I clean my fingers to now blend some more, hoping to dry some of this out. Yes, I do have on SPF because that's still a must, you know? What do you think so far? I mean, it did mattify it, but is it gonna keep my face matte all day? I don't know. We're keeping this here because we've got hydration under the eyes. Let me put it around the mouth and that's it. Only prime the areas where I want to be matte, obviously. I don't want my whole face be matte, especially with the weather cooling down outside. I be feeling stiff. I don't need all that, okay? So just right here on the sides of the mouth. Do we see blurring? Comment and let me know. All right, this is Deep 2. It's a cream formula, natural finish, medium coverage, best for oily combination, normal skin. So best for everybody. All right, medium coverage. Here we go. And what I like to do with a sponge is twist it into the product to gather. Ooh, that gathered a lot. Oh yeah, this looks pretty so far. Oh, you know I love a cream product. This looks beautiful. This is the neutral one, right? Deep Cool 2 is neutral. I'm gonna keep three as well because, you know, I can certainly make both of them work. Wow. So this definitely looks like skin. It looks like my skin. It looks gorgeous. Now, you know, I normally do my brows differently with makeup, even though I am microbladed, but today I just, this is literally the day that I can wear the makeup after letting it heal. I wanna just leave my microbladed brows on today. Let's see how that goes. It'll feel strange because I'm so used to covering them and then making my own shape. That's what I like to do. Watch my video on microblading where I explain why. But again, always do what you want to do because I'm gonna always do what I want to do. Okay, praise the Lord. I think this looks so gorgeous. What do you think? Comment and let me know. Wow, 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 wow. Love that so much. Now concealer, because this foundation matches my skin tone really well, the shade of my concealer is going to matter, right? If I'm using a foundation that's really dark, if I use a light foundation, it might look lighter. When I use a foundation that matches my skin more perfectly, then the concealer might not show very much. Let me just explain. Let me just show you. So this is the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. Have not used this in a minute and I'm doing a declutter and I'm just reminded of all the things that I want to get through. So this has got some goldenness to it. This color is pretty. If you've used this concealer, let me know. I was going to layer this if I needed to, to get the right color, but nope, this is looking like a great color, especially for this foundation product. This duo does come with a powder, so maybe I'll use the powder later. Let's see, because 
I'm not gonna just powder my face and then do my products because I'm not done yet, right? So just know that it does have a powder. So if your routine is a lot more simple than mine is, you can totally dust over the powder with a brush and then set your face and whatever else you normally do. But for me, that's not gonna work at this juncture, okay? So pointy part of the sponge, now going to blend the concealer. And I like to start right here toward the inner eye. And of course, you know that I do the reverse highlight and I'm pinching, looking up, getting it right underneath my eyes, right in those natural creases. It's gonna crease, but let's get that concealer right underneath there. I'm gonna put some more because I want more coverage, but let's blend this part out. It's been a while since I used this concealer, so I don't remember how it dries, so I don't wanna leave it on for too long. I'm gonna take some more, and if you don't already know, I'm going to Bali, I'm taking a group of you all, like literally you, if you're interested and available, to Bali next July. Link is in the description box, as always. Take a look at it, you can deposit and pay over the year, no need to pay the whole thing right now, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I've never been to Bali, and to me, this is such a fun way to do a meet and greet. Remember how years ago, meet and greets were the thing, and then COVID happened, and whatever, right? But it'll be a great way because you know I love to travel okay passport is ready and that'd be a great way to just see each other Ew, content fun memories hi so definitely look in the link in the description box if you're interested or just curious okay it'll always be there for you now the thing about having my brows done already that I never understood how to maneuver was when doing the makeup and I always use full coverage products when doing that how to make sure that I don't cover my brows like when I was doing the foundation just recently <laughs> I was going around the brows with the sponge. Okay, fine. So now when I do this, I gotta be careful in the front. Like am I wiping my brows afterward to get the product off of the brows? See, this is the thing I just never really understood too. Part, part of why I just said, you know what? I'm gonna do what I know. I don't know how to do makeup when I already have brows. <laughs> you know. It's just a habit, routine, the whole nine. Honey, let me tell you something. This KVD Vegan Beauty Good Apple Bomb number 98 is so tired, but I do not like to waste. So we are gonna get all that we can out of her before I put her in the trash. Like, I just don't understand what you want from me. So I'm putting my finger in it literally. <laughs> to get off some of the product, honey. What? This stuff is good. I can't. I do have a backup or two, but still. I just don't like to waste. It just makes me sick. If you've tried this and you love this, let me know. Another great full coverage foundation option that I like to use in that particular shade as a contour. Oh, I took too much right here. I cannot. We're gonna carve that out in a second. Oh, I took way too much, too much talking. <laughs> Ooh, I was overzealous. I took way too much, but we're gonna fix it though. So if this ever happens to you, know that it happens to me too, honey. Okay, the pointy part is where the concealer was. We're going to further carve out the bottom here. What does that look like? Does it look crazy? I don't know. Let me get some more concealer on the back of my hand now because we're doing correction. I'm not gonna put it necessarily right on my face because I need to control this. So I'm pouncing some on the back of my hand, fusing it a little bit, and then I'm gonna do this because I need to have control and then blending it with this side of the sponge. And let's just do this side too. Define it out and then blend with this side. Now I'm wiping with the sponge right in front of me. I know y'all know how I do when it comes to that. Taking some more, blend, blend, blend. We're further diffusing. And I'm gonna go right here to clean this area up. And I might as well go right here. And now to diffuse any other harsh lines, taking this side that doesn't have much product on it. And I'm pouncing all over to diffuse harsh lines. It feels so strange to already have brows right Right now, wow, a full coverage option. See what I mean? Like right now, am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to just clean up the brow so that it doesn't have product on it? I guess I am because I was starting to feel like my brows were disappearing. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Maybe I'll keep my microbladed brow intact. <laughs> I don't know. I like my brow to go up and be dramatic. I don't know. <laughs> Let me just brush them a little bit too. So strange. If you have micro bladed brows, comment and let me know. I already used the Wishful Wish whatever blur jam. I'm gonna use this Glow Wish Luminous Pressed Powder. And this is the shade 06 Medium Tan. All right, gonna give us a little bit of luminosity or whatever. And this is the Sephora number 99 brush. Okay, so I love the angle of this. It really allows me to get in there. Do you you see the luminosity? It's looking like a highlighter. Oh dear God. Okay. Am I not supposed to pack this product on? Oh, what a guan. Huda, wagwan. 
what is going on here? Oh, I've got to contour my nose. Oh, because my whole routine was different. I forgot. Oh my God. It's also because it's been a week since I've done makeup. Sephora 57 brush. I need to contour my nose. Why do I not know what I'm doing? Oh, oh my God. So now I contour my nose. It's looking a little wobbly. We'll fix that in a second. Now, let me set all of the highlighted areas. I'm concerned about this glow, but it might all come together when I do my face powder. What the? Oh, nah, son. What are we doing today? <laughs> Woo! It's my first day back and it's not going so well. Oh, bless his holy name. I mean, it's beautiful, but this is... Look at this, it's giving drag. I'm not going to a burlesque show. What is going on? Okay, all right, I don't, I'm, I'm not liking the microbladed makeup brows. Just wanna let you know. I miss my dramatic brow. Okay, let's stop. Let's just, let's just keep on moving, okay? So let me do my Patrick Star. I almost said Patrick Ta, honey. Patrick Star Powder Foundation D4G, and this is the Sephora 80 brush, love this. And let's bring, Jesus, oh my God. <gasps> Oh no, we're bringing warmth to the face and this normally brings everything down. Oh dear God, oh no, oh God. Now don't forget any of the shades, so oh, it's giving shave mark right here, just ignore that. Should I wash this off? No, I've come this far. I've come this far. Okay, so I just looked in the mirror. It really does look pretty that it's golden under my eyes. I'm just not used to this. So it's very frightening, but it does look pretty. So if you like a luminous under eye, go for it. I would not recommend this if you have dry under eyes because the golden shimmer that's in here to me would make your dryness look horrible. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Okay, so the eye look that I'm doing right now is my soft glam look. I've done this several times. I'll link a video below that where I actually show you how I did it. But I just wanna say that this under eye highlight is actually really good because I have not highlighted my face. And when you look right here, don't you see a highlighter there? So although it was stark, and now I know I'll use a little bit less, but I like it a lot because it already looks like I have a highlighter on. I don't even need to put a highlighter on. <laughs> this is good. I was a little horrified. I was a little concerned. I thought I messed the whole thing up, but it's really, really good. Let's finish the face. Oh my gosh. So I have finished my look. I have to say, I love it. The shimmery press powder just keeps stopping me in my tracks. I will admit I did use the Rose Ink Prismatic Highlighter on my nose and above my lip because I could see it. I couldn't see the highlighter there, but above my cheek, I did not touch it. So that's still the wishful situation. And the blush I have on is Black Radiance Warm Berry Artisan Color. The lip is Rare Beauty Strong Lip Liner and the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain in the shade 75. I'm gonna link everything below. And the lashes, of course. I like how this looks. I do have to say, I would still love if the foundation were a little bit darker. So I'm gonna try deep three a different day, maybe tomorrow or Sunday. And I'm sure it'll look good. I mean, this does match me. You're gonna be like, it matches you fine. I know, I get it. I just like for my face to be a little bit deeper, especially since this setting powder is mad light. Like it's giving, wow, you highlighted today. <laughs> and that's normally not what I'm trying to get. It's just really, really pronounced, but it still looks really pretty. Here I am. Let me know what you think about this look. This is my soft glam look. It's essentially a brown smoky eye. And also let me know if you've tried this Patrick Ta foundation duo. I never Never used the actual powder so I can't discuss that part but the foundation love 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 okay let me know what you think and I actually love this whole turban look so I'm gonna keep it on today because I think it's cute let me know what you think make sure you subscribe comment and follow on all socials and I'll see you in the next video bye